Just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Grizzlies first found an identity with grit and grind. As a rookie, Jaron Jackson cut his teeth alongside Mike Conley and Mark Gasol. And he said, now it's next gen, but it's still the same sort of mentality. We take defense seriously. That's our staple. And when you do that, you usually win. Guys? They do. Great philosophy and attitude. Thanks, D.A. And tonight, Greg, two teams with a lot of history that know each other very, very well. And sometimes familiarity beats contempt. And, and that goes for the players, coaches, and fans. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. The guard pair, Murray and White. Kelvin Johnson is out there with Young, and it's Collins in at the center. And for the Grizzlies, Adams... center with Jackson next to him. Then there's Dylan Brooks. Then there's John Morant. And it's Bain in at the shooting guard position. Adams finds Jackson. Back to Adams. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Thaddeus Young. Not the last time we'll see that. Adams is so powerful and loves to take it to the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and he's there at 71 from the line this season, probably below where you'd like to see him. You know, one thing about getting going at the free throw line like he has this season, it can continue to carry over. Free throw good, Adams. And I've heard Adams is a big gamer. Video games, I mean... He doesn't watch sports in his off time like a lot of guys. He'd rather have a controller in his hand. And so Adams nails both of them. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. Murray kicks to Johnson. Outside, White. Collins trying to break free. And it's White missing. Here's Bain. White covering. Adams, the pass to Morant. Ejected by Young. They recover. Here's San Antonio. Four-point game. On the wing, Johnson hands it from downtown. You know, we know Murray's got some creativity to his passing game, but no need to be creative there. I mean, he sees the wide open man and zips it right to him. Now here's Brooks. Morant scanning the floor. And stolen by White. Murray outside. Shoots over Morant. Johnson dishes to Murray. Here's White. No good on the triple. There's 130 gone here in the first quarter. And another turnover here by Memphis. And like a lot of young players, Clark, White's consistency on offense is tethered to his jump shot. Yeah, in many ways it is, Kevin. He's strong off the dribble. He likes to get to the basket. Uh, but he needs to refine that jump shot to set up his drive a little better. The Spurs have gone just one of four to get this game started. Pass to Collins. And here is Johnson. This game he had 10 points. Murray outside. Five to shoot. 
Baseline try. Shots good from Young. You really have to respect the mid-range game of Young. I mean, he hits it just enough to keep you honest. Morant against Murray. Morant drives in. Puts the team in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on you. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Morant against Murray. Over in the corner, White. And it's Desmond Bain Desmond with the foul. Bain. That's, that's his first, first foul. First, first foul. I mean, that's a tough first break team for foul. the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Murray outside. Johnson against Brooks. Five on the clock. And the shot is good from Johnson. Johnson's got five points so far. Memphis trailing here. Now here's Morant. Incredible numbers looking at his scoring averages. He's currently scoring more than 28 points a game. Brooks kicks to Morant. Bain inside the three-point line. And good as it just stops right down through the net. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And so White will bring it up for San Antonio. And out of bounds is Memphis King's possession. Grizzlies have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Adams. Here's Bain. The second chance effort. And there's the nice layup by Adams. They have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. Outside, White. Murray against Morant. Murray, the pass to Young. From down low. And the rejection by Jackson. Passes it to Adams. Memphis moving it around. Young against Morant. To the paint. And there's Jackson on the assist by Morant. Jackson's got his second bucket of the night. What agility there. Look how quick Jackson moves after setting the screen. Perfect execution. Pass to Collins. Now Young. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. There's the pass to White. Shot clock at five. Up again. Young on the follow. You know, those are the plays where you really see Young's quickness off the floor. He's got a great, quick second jump, which leads to second chance scores. Now here's Brooks. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Jackson. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Young. On defense, San Antonio. They trail by three. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. Here is Brooks after the basket by San Antonio. Here's Bain. He picked up 15 points in their last win against the Bulls in Chicago. And don't forget about his assist. His playmaking was as good or better than his scoring. He was in complete control. Spurs making a switch here. Walker's checked in.
Here's Bain. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. They get it back. Adams. He dishes it to Jackson. The three from Morant. San Antonio with the rebound. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. And Young slams it home. That's just just focusing two. on the task at over. hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Morant. He picked up 24 points in their last win against Chicago. There's the drive. He makes that one drop only a second and five times. And you're just asking to get burned when you give Morant a lane, using that speed to his advantage. San Antonio's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Murray. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. This tug-of-war game continues. And guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Morant with a wide-open look. Finds himself wide open and drills it. Six points for John Morant. And that's just a great job of staying ready by Morant. He didn't need to dominate the ball to score there. San Antonio trailing here. Walker the pass to Murray. Now Johnson. He feeds it to Murray. Shoots over Morant. Offensive rebound. Collins finds Young. Murray left side. Just four to shoot. Johnson wide open. He fires. No good with the triple. For Memphis, they've gone 7 of 15 for the field at this point. Here's Brooks. And foul Seven on the shot. Down. He'll shoot two at the Johnson. free throw line. That's his first personal And the regular season, Second Clark, approaching foul. its conclusion. Some have suggested at pushing the back the regular season permanently. Well, we'll see if it gets two traction. You know, the thought is that it's better to compete with baseball as an NBA league than for viewers during the football season. First free throw is good. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Vassell comes in for Collins. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Murray. And both free throws good for Brooks. Here is Forbes. He averages a bit over six points a game. Pass to Young. And a wide open look for Walker. And the three off target. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Payton for three. The putback. The rebound by Young. Spurs trail by three. Walker with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Takes it off the glass. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Morant passes to Adams. Brooks against Young. Right at the free throw line. Brooks misses. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Forbes can't get it to go. Memphis has gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. A control from outside. They get it back. Jackson gets the button. Jackson's got six. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. The first time they met was in San Antonio. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. And sometimes that can be a motivating factor. It may very well light a fire under them tonight. Nobody likes to be dominated on the glass like that. Make some noise Here's Young. 14 points from him the last game against Miami. 
Yeah, but he was the ultimate two-way player. Defensively, also doing a great job. A couple blocks in that game as well. Shots good by Walker. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. Adams outside. Pass to Bain. Back to Adams. Memphis moving it around. Snatched up. Jackson. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Here is Forbes. No points in the game yet for him. Kicks it out to Johnson. Driving in. This is DeYoung. A shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. He's a boy who knows his role. Ja loves John setting Morgan. guys up, always looking to pass it. Spurs trail by five. And coming out of high school, John ja Morant said he was a no-star recruit. One reason he may have been overlooked was his small-town upbringing. Two minutes he was brought right up in Dalzell, South Two Carolina. Minutes. Here is Forbes. Fires the three. Walker's shot is off. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first quarter. And it's the cell with the foul. That's his first foul. And even though he played an AAU team with Zion Williams, you know, scouts Greg were looking right past John Morant. And didn't get a lot of offers at first. After two years at Murray State, he joined Steph Curry and Damian Lillard as another star point guard out of a mid-major program. And to this day, he carries that underdog chip on his shoulders. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Steven Adams picks one up. You know, it's really interesting to note that Forbes went to the same high school in Detroit as a certain friend of ours. I think the guy's name I'm thinking about here is um, Chris Weber. That's good from Forbes. Both free throws good from Forbes. We've got 128 left here in the opening quarter. It's Brooks on the wing. Back to Morant. Pass to Bain. That shot is off. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Down low. Off to a good start as he gets his first shot attempt. Boy, nice job that time, guys, from Forbes. Spotting the wide open man and dropping the dime. Morant passes to Bain. Good and a nice assist for Morant. Morant's got four assists in the game. Gets one to fall, but only a second make in the first seven attempts. Here is Forbes. The pass to Holiday. Here is Forbes. Pass to Young. Kicks to Bullock. Here is Forbes. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Morant. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three point play. The rugged toughness of Morant. Excellent at fighting through there and capitalizing in stock. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. John Morant at the line for one. And expectations skyrocketed for Moran after the success of his rookie year. But if you ask me, he has risen to that challenge and continues to set a high bar for himself. 
here is Forbes. There's 10 seconds left here in the first quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's off from three-point range. So timeout call here. First for Memphis. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Come on and get ball for your Frisco. One second left, and no good in the last second attempt this time. And so it's Jaron Jackson making highlights for the Memphis Grizzlies. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And one of the better young two-way big men in the NBA, Jaron Jackson. Uh, he talked about how his defensive responsibilities grow. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, you know, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. Now with his 7-4 wingspan, Jackson has all the tools to be an elite rim protector. But advanced understanding of positioning. His father was an NBA player, so he's been yeah, taught the game from a young age. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you guys think? Just cashing in on second-chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All filled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court right now for the Spurs. They've got Young. And it's Vassell in at the fourth spot. And he makes the first. And every year we see, Greg, some incredible comebacks. What distinguishes in your mind those with the resilience to battle back? I think it starts with a belief and desire. And the great ones truly hate to lose. He's off on the second. And you have to respect Jaron Jackson's toughness. This kid has had some early injury struggles but he always returns to the floor determined to pick up right where he left off. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Morant outside. Takes it inside, and he gets the buck. Morant's got 11. And that speaks to Morant's fearlessness. Even amongst the trees, he is confident looking to score with the ball. Here is Forbes. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. The Grizzlies pull it in. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Here's Tillman. Good defensive work there by Young. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Memphis leading by six. Here's Brooks. Bullock with the rebound. On the wing, Holiday. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Grizzlies have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Now here's Brooks. He's coming closely. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over.
coach here. Jones has checked in. San Antonio also making some changes. Zach Collins checked in for Young. Derek White comes in for Devin Vassell. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Bryn Forbes. Over in the corner, White. It's good, the assist that Three, time one, from Holiday. Three. White's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. On the wing, Melton. Passes to Tillman. Murray against Jones. There's the triple. Mump is the rebound. Tillman. In the corner, it's Melton. Three and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Out to White. Pass to Holiday. Back to White. Ice ball movement by San Antonio. Bullet good. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Memphis. It's off to Boston for him after this game as they take on the Celtics. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. From past the arc. Here's Jackson. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive glass. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. And here's Bullock from the arc. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Man, the triples keep timeout, falling, timeout. guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Now a timeout called by Memphis. This is game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Well, it's really hard to stop them when they're in a groove offensively. And they were in a comfort zone all game long in that one. Memphis leading. Now the pass to Tillman. Stolen by Bullock. He kicks it to Holiday. There's the dish to Murray. Takes a three. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Well, I tell you what, that's a sight for sore eyes to see Murray connecting from distance because when he's doing that, it really opens things up for him because we know he can get to the basket. Got that one up quick. And the Grizzlies lead by one. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here is Holiday. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks shell shot. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. Now here's Bullock. Brooks covering. Stolen by Brooks. And now Jones running the floor all by himself. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jones has got the game tied up here for the Grizzlies. The Spurs are gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. Right the pass to Murray. Oh, here's Bullock. Brooks covering. Pass to Murray. It's stolen by Jones. Jackson trying to break free. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And it's Murray penetrating. You know, Murray's game is about putting the ball on the floor, moving without it when he doesn't have it, and driving and keeping pressure on the defense. Memphis has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Brooks, the pass to Melton. Feeds it to Jackson. And stolen by White. Got a piece of it. They retain possession. 
Holiday dishes to Bullock. Six to shoot. Tries again. Collins controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Collins has got the lead up to two now for San Antonio. Way to work the glass. Buffet style. Second chance buffet. They can make a big difference. Here's Melton. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got four rebounds now tonight. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And a moment now to quickly at take a look at the minutes. offensive approach for the Spurs. Well, I'll tell you what, they must have had a good shoot around because they've been fantastic from long range so far, fellas. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. And the first one drops. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Steven Adams comes in for Tyus Jones. And it's Bain in for DeAnthony Melton. Then for the Spurs. Johnson comes in for Justin Holiday, And Walker subbed in for Reggie Bullock. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. San Antonio's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. And White kicks to Murray. Intercepted. Here's Tillman. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Jackson finds Brooks. Here's Tillman. He's guarded by Johnson. Jackson misses. That's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. And then Johnson with the dunk. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. No clue where that pass is going. That is a brutal turnover. Morantz, he's checked in for Tillman. San Antonio leading. Murray outside. Outside, Walker. Passes it to Murray. Six on the shot clock. Walker against Brooks. Walker's shot is off. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Now here's Brooks. Six points for him. Pass to Morant. A three ball. Walker with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Kicks it out to Johnson. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. And probably surprising to scouts. Johnson has played power forward quite a bit. Well, you know, he's not as tall as most power forwards, but he's really cut up. He's bouncy. He's energetic, fearless. And he's really a mismatch for most other fours. So it's the Spurs now following the score by Memphis. Here's Murray. Here he goes. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Morant with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Offensive rebound, Jackson, and the layup falls. Jackson. Jackson's got it all tied up now for Memphis. And how about the strength of Jackson there? Uses it whenever he's going up inside and fighting through the contact. Collins trying to break free. And it's White missing. Memphis has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Here's Morant. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. White inside. Outside for Murray. Here's the three. And it's White missing. And so it's Memphis with it. At the elbow, it's Jackson. At the elbow, Adam. Memphis moving that ball around. Here's Morant. 
banked in off the glass. Oh, Moran has got four points now in the quarter. Oh, the contact can't trip Moran up. He just glides past it and into his shot. Here's White. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Miami. And he passed oh, the ball so good. well in that game, keeping everybody involved, even as he was racking up all those points. San Antonio calls timeout. Nice game. Great performance by Jaron Jackson. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. Philadelphia's ah, yeah, checked in for Memphis. Then for the Spurs. Young's checked in for Collins. Vassell comes in for Derek White. And it's Bryn Forbes in for DeJounte Murray. Now here's Walker. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject. That's his first personal foul. San Antonio trailing here. And the pass to Vassell. Now here's Johnson, defended by Anderson. Johnson goes in. Sweet little floater. Kelvin Johnson. Johnson's got nine. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Here's Bain. He's got five. Driving inside. Oh, and that one, no question. Lowered it down. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Well, he makes the basics look pretty exceptional. I'd suggest that he stay with those bases because we've got a tight one here tonight. Here's Walker. The Grizzlies making the shot. Stolen away. Anderson in the post. He's guarded by Johnson. Payton for three. And it's good assisting on the play by Brooks. And now a five-point Grizzly lead. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for Memphis. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And it doesn't look like they'll be giving up on any plays tonight either. Their offensive rebounding has also been equally as impressive. And it's Morant missing. Spurs trail by five. Walker the pass to Vassell. No one near him. That one a tad yeah, off line to the right, but drops in for him. We've got 28 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Bain. Passes it to Anderson. Pass to Bain. Just five to shoot. Buries the long range jumper. Bain's got eight points in the quarter. And here is Johnson. Yeah, that's a tough oh, call right there. It, it really is a great for the team. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. The, the Spurs shoot their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He's perfect from the line this time. I'm out called the Grizzlies. Second attempt doesn't fall. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Grizzlies lead by four. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? Lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? 
Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Jaron Jackson Jr. just been playing terrific basketball in this one. He ended up with 15 points, 8 rebounds, and 1 block. Kenny, what do you think about the Grizzlies? You have to love a team that pounds the offensive glass. That's going to gain you extra possessions. And check this out. Sometimes, just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? They did some good things, but not enough. They need to start being more assertive. Go harder to the rim. Generate some free throw opportunities at the very least. Do something. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. <laughs> 